Hey, welcome to Wing Chun Dummy Techniques. We're going to show you three techniques for beginners that you can start practicing on the dummy or anything that you can put together that resembles the dummy. Um, and then I'll show you the, uh, the applications for them right after that. The first one is going to be Hun Sao. Hun Sao is like this. You just start like this and then create it. So you put one hand, it's going to be like this. You want to stick to the arm as much as possible. Fingers are pointing out and then rotate inwards. In, look at my feet. We're pivoting. Pivot, 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 like that, 45 degrees. Okay, you combine both of them, it'll be like this. Now, when you're hearing it, it's not going this way, the energy is actually going into the dumb. So, that when you hear it, it's actually a punch. When you hear it, energy is actually going in this way, it's not going this way. practice that at home and I'm going to show you the application right now. Hey welcome back. So we've got my good buddy, one of the instructors at uh, Combative Wing Chun and he's going to help me demonstrate the Hun Sao. So Hun Sao is very useful in sparring or any kind of situation where he has his hand. What you do is you first feed him a couple of these so that you get the energy coming to your hand. right? Then you use one of the Hun Sao's. So I'm feeding him and they don't like me to hit him so they're going to counter it with this. So do a couple, and the third one, do a hyun, and then boom, he lands right into my, my punch. Okay, so boom, even the first one. Okay, so we go one, two, three, boom, you're in. Make sure you move in. Okay, so one, two, three, move in. Okay, so that's the first way of doing himself, slow motion. One, two, three, I meet the energy, I hyun it out. Now I go past here, and then I go for the punch with the same hand because it's closer than this one. Okay, so that's the first Hyun Cell application. Hey, here's the second part application for Hyun Cell. Now remember, this is not really a street fight, this is more of sparring, so a lot of things are a little bit different. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, how do you know he's gonna do that? And how, you know, you just, you can't predict what a person is doing. Well, that's fine because what I'm doing is I'm making him do something, right? So I'm making him do it. Okay, so I'm making him, because if he doesn't block this, this is going to his eyes already. Okay, so I force him to block it a couple times, make his brain used to doing that motion, and the third time, then boom, he's giving me that energy, and I'm doing this. Now you're saying, okay, here's the next part, right? So here's the next part. One, two, three, boom, boom, okay? Now you're saying, how do you know he's going to do that? Well, let's say he blocks this one, right? Then I go this one, he blocks this one, boom, boom. You know what? They say, how do you know he's going to block? Well, hopefully it doesn't block. <laughs> if it doesn't block, you don't need to know all these things. But we're going to train it so that you uh, automatically do all these things even though he blocks. Okay, so like, like I said, fights, you can't predict it. But you're training so that you can react automatically without thinking in the fight. Okay, so once again, one, two, three, boom. Okay, so once again, you can go with this one. You can hit and punch. So hyun out with the right and punch with the left. Or you can hyun with the right and punch with the right, like that. Let me slow it down for you. So once again, I'm doing one, two. I feel the energy, I hyun, boom. And then the second one, he blocks this one, I hyun this one out, boom. And then finish it off. Okay, so those are some techniques. A lot of times, this will just get him right away. Oh, yeah, see, there you go. Okay. This After will... a couple of finger jabs, uh, I for sure you'll be blocking it. You'll be doing something, giving some kind of obstruction. Okay. So a lot, a lot of times that will just finish a fight already, or even a sparring match. Okay. But sorry about that. Yeah, no worries. Um, but if he, <laughs> if he blocks it, and boom, you use that, right? And then this will sometimes just finish it right there. But if it doesn't, doesn't finish it, you got this, right? And he blocks it, then boom, and that will finish it. If that doesn't finish it, you got these ones. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So this is. It's just a drill, it's just a technique, and this is how we practice it so that you can follow up and do things automatically to counter whatever he gives you. Hey, here's the second Wing Chun dummy technique for beginners that you can start practicing at home. Very useful technique. It's the Pa and Lo Zhe. So, we'll start here, step a little bit to the left, Pa, step in with the Lo Zhe. And go back to center, step a little bit to the right, Pa, step in with the Lo Zhe. Okay, so going to go like this, boom, 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 like that. All 
right? Now, what you can do is you can substitute this low germ with the punch. Okay, so you can substitute with the punch or germ, doesn't matter. Some people can do it even in high germ, so you can go up, high germ, up. So those are a few things. And there's a fourth one where you can go up and then put your foot here and then kind of go backwards with your foot and go forward at the same time. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, so it comes up. It's kind of hard to do on this dummy because the leg is not as, doesn't come out as much, but I'll show you how to use that notification in the next section. All right, here's the pop and low joint application. Okay, so pop and low joint are very useful. First of all, you do your pop one, two, and the third one. Okay, low joint around the chest. And notice how I put my foot here. And when I go to the chest, we do a backward motion with this. This ourselves will do a little bit of trip, and we combine it with the low jump from the chest here. If he's facing this way, then perfect. I got a nice grip, but unless he turns this way, oh no, I'm missing something. That's okay, right? Now I can go and use this part of Marga. Like that. Okay? So either way, it's going to be, right? So one, two, three, and then if I don't get anything, he turns a little bit, he turns this way, then I just use. I just use this part more on instead of the low chair. And uh, same thing, you can also use it like uh, this way, boom, boom, this way, and then just like this, pop and jump. In this case, you can go this way, same thing. So either way, just use the, use the template technique, right? So it's gonna be pop this way, right? A pop this way. So either way, it's cool. Here's the third Wing Chun dummy technique that you can use and you start practicing even for beginners. So standing as a, in a regular position, we do a bong cell first, in between. Then we're gonna step over here a little bit. And I'm going to do a lap cell with this one. This one goes underneath and pull and just kind of kick your foot here. Like that. Alright, so I go back in the center, do a bong cell. This one goes underneath and has a lap. This one goes underneath here, pull and kick at the same time. So I'll do a little bit faster, we boom, 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 boom. Now what some other people uh, do as variation, instead of just sweeping, they can stop like that. So there's two ways things. You can lift it up a little bit and stop. Some people say, oh that's not my proper technique, but you're gonna use it like that. I use it like that, like that. Okay? Lift it a little bit and stomp down. Sometimes you can even just grind it down the front like that. Grind it down, grind it down. So those are some variations. Now let me show you how to do the application. Hey, so now I'm gonna show you the grappling hand application. All right, so let me show you just what I did there. So it's good for a punch. You go to the regular pack, just like the uh, second technique, right? And another one comes, I'm going to Grab it like this, see? One hand on top, one hand on the bottom. And then you can either just do a sweep, pull them down, nice on the shin just right there, or even higher in the knee like that. Or you can do the stomp, just be careful, and then twist it out like that. Or I can show you the third way I did it, which is actually grind it from the front shin and pull on the instep, which is quite painful. If you do it hard in SPG, if you have like uh, work boots or something like that, uh -huh. grind it in front of the shin, and down the limb step. What I like to do, use both best is just the knee. Just be careful. So you want, you want the knee to rotate out like that. Right? Like that, and then run it back in the neck to finish it off. All right, so that's a simple one. And you can practice that. Just be careful with the stomping. Just do it slowly and make sure you don't hurt anybody uh, with your stomps. Hey, here's a variation of that application. Okay, so before, I went like this, and then I did a cross, right? His legs on this side, his arm is this side. But this time, I did a bong style the wrong way, so I went this way, and the same side, leg, uh, right leg, right hand. So I'm gonna pull here, pull it down to my hip, and then I'm gonna step on here. Boom. Okay, it's nice. Once again, just be careful. Don't go boom, okay? But ideally, it's like that. Okay? Grab, and pull, like that. That's the energy you want to use. You can easily twist it 
twist knees and yeah, it's kind of dangerous. So just be careful when you train. So use that wisely and train hard. We'll see you soon. Hey, thanks for watching this three techniques of wooden dummies for beginners. So if you have a dummy or if you have something like a dummy, you can start doing those techniques and practicing at home. I hope that helps you out. So if you like this lesson, make sure you check out some of my other lessons I have on this channel and make sure you subscribe to this channel to get more Wing Chun dummy lessons just like this one, more self-defense, fitness, and all sorts of really cool stuff. Thanks Herman for helping me out and we'll see you soon.